What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now, in today's video, let's just dive right in because I am really, really excited to be revealing, drum roll please, the Morphe Brushes Jeffree Star Brush Collection. Yes! Now this bad boy has been in the works for a very long time and today we're gonna be revealing everything that is inside and I also did a few other products which will all be of course revealed in today's video. Now before we dive into everything here I have to say a quick little story. Now you guys I know you're like, wow, Jeffree Star is collabing with someone else and it's not with my brand, no. This is me as an individual. This has nothing to do with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. As you all know, my brand is sold in every Morphe Brushes store um, and of course on their online website. Now, me and Morphe go way, way back. For highlight today, I'm gonna be using the Morphe M3 10 fan brush. I love this. This is really nice to just chisel. You can do the Morphe 510, which I love this guy. So let's use this one right now. To buff out the under eye and help it look really flawless, I'm gonna be using this tiny Morphe 513 brush. I love this one. It's perfect for detail. Okay, I'm gonna play a clip right now from when I talked about making brushes with Morphe. I have a collab coming out with Morphe brushes. Yes, I am obsessed with them. You guys know I use them in all my videos. I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek of a few of them. Should we do it? Should we do it? Okay, we're doing it. Bam! Now, this was all the way back in 2015 coming into 16. Now, me and Morphe, we go way back. Now, Lipstick Nick introduced me to Morphe years ago, and I'll never forget when she came up to me and she's like, Jeffrey, you have to check out this brand. The brushes are affordable, but they're a Amazing, and I was like, okay girl, let, let, I'm down to try anything, especially when it comes from such a amazing and talented artist. Looking back, I would have never imagined we would be growing together all these years. So this story to me is pretty special because Nicole brings me to Morphe's very first store in Burbank, California. It was a tiny little store, um, and I went in there and it was magical. There was brushes all over the walls, and I was like, this is aesthetically amazing. So I shop, I get some brushes, I go home, I try them, love them. Now if you guys go back to my very first video on my channel, I'm using Morphe, I'm talking about them, and I am just, I've, I've always just lived for them. You guys know I've never had a code with Morphe, um, but I really stand behind their brand and I have always wanted to make my own brushes. So fast forward to Lipstick Nick taking me to the Morphe store, meeting the owners and falling in love with their vision. They told me such big dreams and hopes and it reminded me a lot of myself and the vision that I had for my brand. I met them, I had three lipsticks. JSC had just launched and they were like, okay, let me try it out. Um, and it's just crazy how over the years we have gotten to really bond, become family, and now to finally be able to create something together for all of you guys is so magical. A lot of you have been asking, even to this day, where are the Jeffree Star Morphe brushes? Where are they? Whatever happened to this? Whatever happened to that? And I've always kind of like skated by, but the real tea is Morphe and my brand were both growing very fast. And at the time, it just was not right. It didn't feel right. We had started an idea, but then they were skyrocketing. I was skyrocketing and you guys, years, years went by and I was like, okay, I would love to revisit this idea when I decided to put my brand into the Morphe stores. It was such a big deal to me, because you guys know I am not into retail, but we have grown together and built such an amazing partnership. Um, I thought it was time to make something magical. So now, you guys, let's dive in into the Morphe Jeffree Star Brush Collection. Now, when I was creating this, I wanted to do something that was both face and eye, because you guys know I live for skin and I love dramatic eyes. So, of course, I had to create all in one. So this is seven custom eye and face brushes. Now, let's dive in. So when you guys purchase the brush set, this is how it comes. I'm actually gonna show you the real one that you get fully wrapped, because you know Mama is all about the packaging. So it comes in the Starstruck makeup bag. Of course, it will come fully wrapped, so let me just take the plastic off like you would be getting it in the mail. It comes sealed, of course. Girl, she's sealed. All right, now here is what it looks like. You know I had to give you the eyes on the cover. Now this is the Starstruck bag. It is very iconic and very chic with a little pink peekaboo vibe to it. There is silver holographic detailing. Girl, I wanted it to be very me, of course. So everything is in my iconic pink. Now, let's zip her open. 
Now when you open it up, every brush comes wrapped and sealed on its own. You guys ready to dive into the brushes? Now when you open them, of course, they all are individually wrapped. So let me go into the one that is not wrapped so we can really dive in and I can show you guys everything. All right, now I've taken off the plastic on everything for this set, so let's dive in to the seven eye and face brushes. All right, you guys, now you know I am a packaging queen. I wanted these to look like pink icicles, like diamonds, like a stiletto. Now every brush head is custom. There is synthetic and natural, which we will dive into in a second. Now you know I'm all about quality. These feel so soft. Okay, now we're gonna go through all of the brushes, we're gonna show you everything, and we're gonna talk about what they do, how they work, um, and now as I go down the list of all the brushes, I am gonna insert clips of me using them, and I'm gonna be just telling you guys about them as I go over it. Now, I am probably gonna have no wig or makeup on, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> Run. No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's go through all the brushes. Let's just give you all the tea right now. So before we go through all the brushes, um, by the way, this does come out. This is a protectant. Bam, hello, and we're gonna put this right in here. Now, let's get down to all the nitty gritty. Now, this full set retails for $49. You are getting a 42% discount because if you were to buy all the brushes individually, they would be $84. So, high savings, how are ya? All right, now the full eye and brush set and the beauty tools I am about to show you in a second will be available February 5th, of course, in every Morphe brushes store and their e-commerce website. Woo! I'm so excited. Also, I quickly wanna note that on the day of the launch on Morphe's website, each brush will also be available individually. So if you like six and maybe not one, girl, you can snag them up. Of course, there will be the full collection. So let's open her up and see what's going on. Okay, the first brush is JS1. This is the size queen brush. Now, a lot of you have seen me apply my foundation with a beauty sponge. Of course, we'll get to that in a second, but I've been applying foundation with a brush for years and years before the sponge trend. When Morphe first gave me their buffer foundation brush years ago, I died. It like changed my way of applying foundation. So when beauty sponges happened, um, I kind of set her aside, but so many other makeup artists love using face brushes on me, whether it's Lipstick Nick or Mama Mitchell. Um, they always use a brush like this to apply it, and I had to have one in my set. Now, as you see as I'm applying it, all you gotta do is buff and blend by doing quick circular motions, and you're gonna have a seamless foundation look, which bitch, you know that is the only thing that I live for. <laughs> and this applies foundation with ease. If you're someone that doesn't like a wet sponge or you're more of someone that's like on hands and you like to blend or be an artist, this brush is for you. And as I go through each brush, I will tell you about the hair. Of course, this is for liquid products, so this is synthetic bristles. Now you guys know I am a powder queen, so JS2 is the point blank precision brush. I love setting my under eyes, I love putting powder everywhere, so this is the brush for that. The bristles are amazing, of course they are synthetic, they fit perfectly into all of the contours of your face. You wanna get right up in there, it gets really in. Now this brush gives you a very smooth application with any powder product. Um, and if you wanna go full on, this will do the job for you. Now, whether you're using this brush to wipe away your bake if you're doing a little concealer moment, or you can take like your pressed powder, I love just taking the brush, pressing it in, and then packing it on the skin. Oh, it's so good. And this will give you that beautiful mannequin look that I live for. Here is brush JS3. This is the iconic contour brush. Now, Lipstick Nick first used this brush on me God, years ago, and it was an old school Morphe brush um, with a little different shape. I wanted to make something a little more domey, but she would use it, and I was like, girl, for contour? And the way she would do it, and the way it would go along the nose was so just soft and pretty, and it was just like, oh, okay. And it's always fun to see other makeup artists do my face, because of course I have been doing my makeup for a very long time, a specific way, so to see another artist translate their vision on my canvas is really fun. So this brush changed my life, I really love it. Now, it's really good for small areas as well. You could 
you know, build product pretty easy. And I love the way that these handles are shaped. It is like an icicle or like a diamond cut, but the way that you can hold it is so easy. It doesn't feel weird. There's no like weird, like, you know, I look, well, I've used some crazy brushes, some mermaids, some unicorns, and that shit did not feel good in my hand. This feels very sleek and bam. Also, this brush slays very good with powder and cream or liquid products as the bristles are synthetic. JS4 is one of my favorites. This is the Fly High Brush. Now, we all know I am a high lighting queen. I love to glow from outer space. Highlighting is my obsession, even with my own brand. I made one highlighter formula and then somehow, I made three or four. <laughs> Whether it's liquid or powder, I am obsessed with the glow. But we all know I've been using a brush like this from Morphe for years now. I've also been using this one secretly off camera for a few months now, um, I'm obsessed. Now, I think I've used the Morphe 510 in, pff, God, 100 videos by now. It is the easiest brush to apply that stunning glow. Of course, this is natural hair. I wanted to make something that was really super soft and put the products on with ease. Now, if you're someone that has little to no eyebrows, this is really fun to dip into the highlighter palette and also just go anywhere you want. It's easier to kind of like get bigger areas and it hits the cheekbones, the nose, the cupid's bow, the chin. You can highlight your whole body and existence with this one. Here is the JS7 Double Trouble Brush. Now, I wanted to create a pink spoolie and an eyebrow brush in one. I am obsessed with this. Now, we all know I've been drawing on my eyebrows since 10th grade. I'll never forget the day I did it. Bam, goodbye, and I've been drawing them on ever since. Last year, I kind of spent the majority of the year taking time off from brows, but baby, they're back this year. <laughs> this brush, if we zoom in, is razor sharp. Now, my problem with a lot of brands is that the bristles are too fat or too thick. So when I, someone that has zero hair to work with, go in to apply it, it was spreading powder, it was making things weird. I wanted to be able to flick hair and, the, and product, whether it's gel or powder, on with an easy application. And it was hard for me. The brow brush that I've been using, I've had literally 12 years, I want to say. It's an old Aveda brush that I, maybe my dog chewed in half and I still salvaged it, but it was so thin, I wanted to create something like that. Now, we all know that you can use this angled end to draw on your brows. If you have none like myself, you can use it to carve out your brow with concealer and of course, flip it around. Hi, Spoolie, how are ya? Of course, we all know you can use this to brush out harsh brow lines if you're someone that has hair, which probably 90% of you watching this. Now, if you're someone that uses a pomade to draw on your brows before the product dries, take this and flick it and it will give you a softer appearance as you guys see in the B-roll. Yes. All right, now let's dive into eyes. Here is the JS5 Crease Queen brush. You can really get into the detailing of your eyes with this. Now, I do have deep set eyes, so I wanted to create something for me and for everyone out there to really use because this has longer hairs that are natural, so natural hairs are gonna apply powder flawlessly. I love this brush because you can place the products all in the right spots and you can buff out to perfection. It's very easy and I love how it just fits right in that eye socket. Good morning. Here is JS6, the Rule Blender Brush. This is a little different than five, of course. Let's hold them up for comparisons. Hi, how are ya? Now, JS6 is really good for carving out a chiseled eye look. You can pack on products with this and it really gives you that opaque look in a blink of an eye. I love just taking this brush. You can pack on color, you can go under the eye, um, and I love the short density. So if you really want to get in that crease, this is it for you, baby. Now, you guys know I love eye brushes. I have learned to do my an entire eye look, literally these two brushes. So if you're someone that likes an easy type of glam on the go, this is for you. Now, just like JS5, this also is a natural haired bristle and it applies product amazing. All right, you guys, here are all seven of the face and eye Jeffree Star Morphe brushes. I, oh, I'm so happy. We've been working on this for a long time. I know so many people say that during launches, but I wanted everything to be perfect. You guys know I am a stickler for perfection when it comes to products, and I didn't want to bring anything but the best for you guys. So let's do a little recap. This entire brush set with the Star Struck makeup bag does retail for $49. Of course, this will be in every Morphe brushes store location, which by the way, they're opening up a lot more this year. Saddle up. This will also be available on morphebrushes.com, of course, on 
February 5th. Oh my God, that is like around the corner. And if you're watching this in the future, they're out. Oh my God. Okay, but you guys thought I was done. Oh no, 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 no. We also, we also have some tools coming out, Miss Mama. We have the Morphe Jeffree Star Beauty Sponge Trio. Yes. Now, if you're someone that doesn't like applying your foundation with a brush, bitch, I gotcha. Now, this amazing moment has three custom beauty sponges. We all know, let's pull them out. I have so many. I have been using the red one for a moment, a minute. For months and months now, I've been using this. Um, I love it when it's wet, the way it expands. I love how it feels um, and it really gets in there and then of course well let, let's let's put the red one down and let's open up the Jeffree Star ones all right now when you take it out of the packaging here is what it looks like there are three beauty sponges right here yes let's take them out now this is a very cult favorite for Morphe people live for the sponge including myself and I go baby I want to make a pink Jeffree Star version. Now, of course, this is the highlight and contour sponge. This whole thing, including the brushes, are limited edition. I do want to say that right now in case you're like, girl, what's, what's the tea? That's the tea, mama. Now, this is the highlight and contour sponge. It's baby pink, and it's paired with two brand new mini highlight and contour sponges, which I love the minis. I'm actually going to go wet them right now so you can see how they expand, and then we'll dive into everything. All right, I just wet the highlight and contour sponge. It is at its full peak, and of course, this is the full-size version. Here is what the mini looks like, and then when you wet the mini, here is how big the mini uh, gets, yes. Now, I love these ones for concealer under the eye. If you're someone that has really long nails or it's harder to reach for you in certain crevices of your nose or eye, girl, this is it. You can really get in the nitty gritty, as I call it, and get up all in the gig, and this blends out amazing. All right, now what is the tea on this? Let's get into it. Of course, this launches the same day on February 5th with the brush set, and this will be retailing for $16 with all three sponges. Yes, girl, how are you? Okay, so what do you guys think of everything? Sound off below. I am beyond excited grateful and just so appreciative of the Morphe team for believing in me and letting me create something so fabulous with them. I have been with Morphe since day one and to be able to create brushes which have been so highly requested for me is a dream come true. So shout out to the Morphe team for believing in me and my dreams and what I wanted to accomplish, baby. I think we did it and I'm so proud of these brushes and sponges. So you guys, sound off below. What do you think of everything? I'm now gonna quickly throw up some images from the campaign. You guys are about to see these all over social media, in stores and everything. We had so much fun creating these images. I don't even know what is my favorite moment. The blonde hair, the long ponytail. I wanted to do like do something different. I mean, you guys, I've been doing photo shoots since 2005. Can you imagine? I have done so many looks, every hair color in the book. So I'm trying to always reinvent and keep things really fresh. So I am so proud of this campaign, the brushes, the sponges, and everything. So I am just so proud of everything that we've done. I also quickly want to say thank you to everyone out there watching for even making this possible. Thank you guys for always believing in me and my dreams. All right, let's do a quick recap, you guys. The brushes and the sponge set will, of course, be in Morphe stores and online February 5th. I'm so excited. Now, everything you did see in today's video is limited edition. So, girl, don't play games. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and for watching this announcement. I am gonna go celebrate and whew, let out a deep sigh because whew, I've been holding in the secret for months and to finally have it out there is so unreal. All right, you guys, I love you so much and I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.